Hello guys, Dan here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build a gaming PC for 2015. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build my personal uh, gaming rig and uh, yeah, just a kind of you know, brief kind of overview of the specs. So we've got an Intel Core i7, a 4770K, currently got it overclocked at 4GHz using a Corsair H90 liquid cooler and also yeah, two GTX 770s and um, the MSI Twin Frozer cards with um, yeah, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance uh, RAM. So that's running at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to be showing you how to build a PC. You guys have kind of, you know, wanted to know how, how I put a system together and a good example is to show you how to put mine together. So this is what today's video is going to be about. It's going to be nice, short and sit, so, you know, sweet, concise and uh, yeah, hopefully I will not, you know, confuse any of you guys and hopefully all stuff like the lighting should be spot on. So that's all good. So without further ado, we're going to get on with building it and hopefully, yeah, you guys uh, by the end of part two should, uh, yeah, know how to build a gaming PC. I guess, um, yeah, PC is the uh, superior platform. So guys, getting on to how to build a gaming PC. Now, first of all, we're going to be installing the processor. So what you want to do is open the socket for your processor, uh, yeah, the actual socket on the motherboard, and find the gold triangle. I'll line this up and, uh, yeah, put the um, arm down. There we are. When you press it down, you should hear some crunching. This is perfectly normal. And, uh, yeah, once you've got it in, let's see, you've just installed a CPU. The next thing to do is to install the RAM. And, yeah, in this case, I'm installing two 8-gig sticks to make up 16 gigs. Now, open up two of the first um, tabs on your motherboard and, yeah, just place the RAM sticks in. RAM is pretty easy to install and you just need to push it in from both sides. A lot of people say you need to press down both kind of, uh, you know, sides of the, the RAM equally. You can do this, but, um, you know, typically it doesn't really matter that much. But, yeah, just press them in and uh, that'll be all good. Did have some trouble getting the second one in, but there we are. The RAM is now installed. And to be honest, this Core 7 inch RAM looks pretty nice. And next up, we're going to be installing the thermal paste for LGA 1155, uh, which is the Intel uh, you know, CPU that I'm installing. You only need a small amount of uh, thermal paste, and in this case, less is more. Putting too much thermal paste on will result in yeah, worse the cooling because of the fact that you know you are having a thicker layer of that thermal paste, which is not very good. So you want thermal paste, just a little bit, and uh, yeah, this video you can now see how much is kind of you know the right amount. So it's just a small pea-sized amount. So I'm now installing my Corsair H90 cooler, and yeah, you do need to install a back plate. There we are, it's just installed there. And yeah, once you've got it in, you just need to screw all the screws in. Try and do this equally. Uh, you know, tighten each kind of you know screw uh, by a small amount. As you can see here with this incredible fast forwarded footage um, yeah I'm doing that equally indeed so once uh, yeah, you can't tighten them anymore it's installed and uh, yeah this liquid cooler should keep my i7 nice and cool and um, yeah I will say I'm, I, I'm actually able to keep my CPU under uh, about 70 degrees at 4 gigahertz we'll be installing the radiator later in the video now the next thing to do is yeah, we're going to start putting the actual PC into the case so take off both of the side panels and then inside your case you should have some wires all over the place as well as you know kind of a box of screws with a box of screws take them out and put them in kind of a safe location and with all of the actual you know cables that you get in your case just thread these all to the back so there we are so they're all been pushed to back and you're also done with pushing your um yeah, your cable sleeve for the fans all the way to the back as well we are going to be cable routing these uh in a short while now the next thing you want to do is take out um yeah the appropriate uh, kind of um mounting brackets for your hard drives and ssds and in this case i am actually going to be installing in this pc two hard drives and also an ssd so from that box, get the uh, screws that you need and uh, yeah, get installing uh, your SSDs and hard drives into these cages. So yeah, we've got a 1TB hard drive, a 2TB hard drive and also a 240 gig SSD for the operating system and the programs. So I'll just install on these now and as you can see it's pretty simple, just four screws and uh, yeah, once you've done that, um, essentially yeah, you can just actually thread these into your case. This again is a relatively easy procedure and then um, yeah, once you've done this, you will need to be actually putting in uh, the SATA uh, power and also the SATA um, data connectors. We are going to be installing them just a little bit later, so uh, yeah, bear with me. So there we are, just putting the SSD there in the bottom. I would recommend putting the SSD in the bottom, then it won't get the heat from the hard drives. Now next up, once you've done this, you want to be taking out uh, these back pieces, the PCI Express slot. So yeah, you just want to take these out. Um, in this building, I'm installing two dual width graphic cards and also a sound card. So we'll need to remove five slots. I've already removed two, um, two already, so, so there we are. So just removing a second one there. And yeah, this will allow me to install uh, the two graphic cards and also the sound card. There we are. So just taking that out there. Some cases might have thumb screws, some might not. 
Now once you've done this, the next thing to do is to install the power supply. And in my case, I am using a Corsair RM850. This is an 850 watt gold certified power supply. Now, you, you know, it's totally up to you in terms of which way you want to install your power supply and I have opted to actually install it so the fan is facing down. Now since this is a long power supply, as you can see there we do have a little bit of, uh, you know, we have got like in the way. So we're going to be taking out this, um, this uh, noise uh, kind of dampening material here. And uh, while I'm here, I'm also going to be taking out the ones on the top because I am later on intending to install two 140mm fans just so we can keep the system nice and cool. Since to be honest, having two graphic cards, it does produce quite a lot of heat. So there we are, we're now just slotting in the pass by again, and as you can see, it can now fit in and nothing's kind of obstructed. So once this is in, uh, go on to the other side and screw these in. You should get a little bag with, uh, you know, four or five screws. You might get a fifth one, uh, just in case you lose one, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, just actually screw these into your power supply. Uh, as again, try and, do this, try and do this evenly again, and yeah, uh, do the screws, uh, the two first ones, uh, the first two screws diagonally. There we are. Just make sure that it's aligned properly. Now once you've done this, the next thing to move on to is to actually putting the back plate. So this is the this is the actual I.O. panel, as some people like to call it. This is essentially what your motherboard's going to line up to once you've placed that into your case. This is going to allow you yeah, to line it up a little bit nicely. A little bit nicely. <laughs> you to know what I mean. Now, next thing that I'm going to be doing in my case is installing a fan controller. But if you guys are installing a DVD drive, you can follow the same exact instructions. Now, essentially, you just want to, you know, pass all the cables through into the case first, and then yeah, slot in your your disc drive, your Blu-ray drive, your fan controller, whatever you're doing in this case. In this case, yeah, I'm actually installing a Touch Six um, fan controller by Phobia. There's nice stuff to send out earlier in the year for me to review. So once you've slot that in, you just essentially put some screws in on the side. As you can see here, this uh, does uh, require two screws to put in on both sides. Also, it sometimes can be tricky, um, and sometimes the alignment doesn't exactly match, but uh, yeah, just try your best to put the screws in, and once it's in, it's in. That's it. Uh, nice and easy. So yeah, this does apply for DVD drives and everything, and um, yeah, the, slit, the holes uh, further to the right, um, yeah, that is what's used for your optical um, drives. Now next up is actually installing the motherboard. So place it into your case and then the next thing you want to do is actually line it up to the um, back plate that we put in and then um, yeah just rest it down onto the case and yeah actually on the standoffs that come installed. If your case doesn't have the standoffs installed you'd want to install them and yeah once you've done that you want to put the screws into the standoffs as you can see we're doing now and uh, yeah your motherboard will be installed and then yeah, you actually be able to actually lift your case up and yeah your PC won't fall out of it which is quite nice. Now the next thing I'm doing is actually installing the fan and also the radiator that comes with this liquid cool. As you can see earlier we, in, we installed the cold plate but um, yeah, we do kind of have a dangling radiator. So thread all your cables through to the nearest kind of cable routing, uh, you know, holes in your case, and then um, yeah. So in my case, I put a fan on the on the back, and then putting the radiator on that. So this fan is going to be pulling the air from the rad and out of the case. Um, most uh, companies do recommend having the fan uh, pushing the cold air in, but uh, yeah, in my case, I want the hot air being pushed out. It will limit performance, but uh, yeah, the ambient kind of temperature inside your case will be better. Now once you've done this, you want to be making sure that you that you plug in both your fan and your pump. A lot of people plug the fans in and forget to pull up, you know, actually plug the pumps in. So plug your fan into the CPU fan header and plug your pump into the CPU optional fan header. If you don't have a CPU optional fan header, you can plug this into any of the system fan ones around the board. The next thing we're going to be doing is installing the 24 pin and also the 8 pin power for the motherboard. 24 pin here, which is coming through here. Quite a large plug. This one is, uh, yeah, this is the power for the actual mover board. So this powers stuff like, you know, the RAM and all that kind of jazz on the board. This is quite a big cable. It sometimes can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to bend, but once it's in, it's in. There we are, nice and simple. Now, next thing we're going to move on to do is to actually install, yeah, the 8 pin connector. In some cases, this might be the 4 pin connector, but this motherboard does support overclocking and all that kind of nice stuff. So, this is an 8 pin connector, and this does allow you yeah, to actually, you know, uh, you know, overclock your CPU. The main uh, job of this connector is to power the CPU. So, there we are. So guys, that's the end of part one. Hopefully, if you guys are wanting to check out the other part, a link will be in the kind of video now. It'll also be in the description for you guys that have mobile devices. Yeah, hey, without further ado, I'm gonna say goodbye. And yeah, if you guys that wanna check out part two, would advise you to, it'll uh, yeah, uh, go through uh, finishing off the build and also installing the operating system and the drivers. All you guys don't know how to do that. So uh, yeah, part two will include the software installation and the driver installation. So yeah, you're getting your PC up and running um, all nice and good. Anyway, anyhow guys, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Bye.